what's up my name is take number here for shoot and welcome back to another video in this quick video i've got a quick guide for you on halo infinite or rather more of a psa this issue is especially going to impact you if you're on a medium or low range graphics card with this i'll quickly give you a baseline fps that i'm getting in game and show you the simple fix that you can apply and as you can see, I'm in game over here, getting an average of about 67, 64 FPS. My river tuner overlay isn't showing, so I'll go ahead and capture some statistics now and tab out to show you the graph. Having a look at the graph over here, you can see the average FPS, 67, 1% and 0.1 lows over here, 48.8 and 44.2. One of the tips I've heard of is actually using the minimum frame rate to go ahead and basically artificially raise your frame rate by simply using lower quality in game. This works pretty much immediately with very little change in visuals. It only really downscales some things. This is pretty much free and you can see I've already gone up to 91, 90 FPS. Though of course the visual fidelity may not be something you like. So I'll go ahead and capture more. And as you can see here, I have the minimum frame rate recording, average of 92 FPS, 1% at 57.1 and 0.1% at 54.3, a whole lot better. But for this tip, we're actually going to set this back to zero so that no textures and qualities are dynamically changed to give us a better FPS. For this, I'll go ahead and quit out of the game as you'll need to head across to your platform of choice. This, of course, will be very different depending on what platform you're using. Inside of Steam, I'll right click Halo Infinite, click Properties, and by default, under the DLC tab over here, you'll see the high res textures have been downloaded and activated. I'll simply uncheck this to get rid of the high res textures and it'll do a small update which basically just deactivates those files. I'll go ahead and click play to launch up the game once again. And let's go ahead and benchmark those two options once again to see what kind of FPS we're getting now with the lower quality textures. Even though I have a 1080 Ti with more than enough VRAM, there should still be some sort of a noticeable change. But of course, if you're using much less powerful hardware, you'll definitely notice the change here. And there we go. You can see my FPS hasn't changed all that much, but I'll go ahead and capture some now. And as you can see over here, not much has changed. Let's go ahead and do the minimum frame rate option over here in settings and run the test once again. And having a look here, my average FPS has gone up ever so slightly, but I'll go ahead and pull these into the comparison view now. So over here, I've got the normal one and I have no DLC right below it. As you can see, there's barely any change between these two. In fact, performance went down slightly, but I'd say that's well within margin of error. As for the no DLC minimum frame rate set versus DLC minimum frame rate set, you can see there's a slight gain in FPS here, which I would say is substantial enough as it's the average to actually mean something positive happened here. But once again, I do have a 1080 Ti that has, what, 10 gigabytes of VRAM in it. So if you're running a much less powerful graphics card, this change will be huge compared to what you're seeing here. But of course, your experience will differ. If you'd ever like to get it back, it's very simple. Simply right click Halo Infinite once again, properties, DLC, and re-enable the high-res textures here. Upon doing so, you'll get a full 7 gig download, downloading them all once again. It seems like deactivating DLC on Steam deletes it off your PC completely, which is good for space, but not necessarily good for things you might want to turn back on later. If you own the game and or have it on the Xbox app, I'm not all too sure how to do it there, but there is ways to disable DLC on different platforms depending on where you're playing this, and I would assume if you're able to install and uninstall DLC on consoles, this would probably apply to you there as well. But regardless, that's about it for this quick tip slash PSA. My name's been Techno, but here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!